Good morning, dogs. Tradition of excellence, the music concert, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight is the spring music concert at 7 p.m. There will be a $5 entry fee and it will take place in the theater. Make sure you all come out and support our music program. But the latest tradition of excellence video, episode nine, was recently released with David Santos. Tell us where he tells us about his work ethic, how to deal with bullies, and his life experiences. It's an episode you don't want to miss. And to quote Tom Potts, this video should be a requirement to watch. Now, let's take a short break so we can send it to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? The football call-out meeting has been moved to Thursday, tomorrow, in Coach Byers' room during community. They will be going over summer weights and practice schedules, as well as jersey information. Last night, the baseball team fell to Crawfordsville in Game 2, losing 2-1. Jaden Skinner and Chris Gilgielsa led the offense with two hits each. Austin Penry had a solid start, and Oscar Lopez pitched two and two-thirds inning of scoreless relief. The Dodgers are back in action on Friday against Danville here at home in a conference matchup. Also last night, the varsity softball team took their first dub of the season against Crawfordsville, winning 15-13. The girls are back in action tonight here at home, facing off against the Hamilton Heights Huskies. Game starts at 5.30. Best of luck to them. Tonight, the girls' tennis team is on the road, facing Zionsville in the first round of sectionals. Best of luck to them. Congrats to the girls' strike team on a fun season. Highlight of yesterday was Justin placing eighth in the high jump. Tomorrow, the boys' strike team traveled to West Lafayette to compete in sectionals. Best of luck to them. And last, but certainly not least, this morning in Everett Case Arena, Vanilla Swirl, the junior team, cheated their way into a win. Here's the clip. They seen it, apparently. Mr. Field will right, begin and pause it. Mind later. Look right here. Here we have it. Here we have it. Oh, here we are. Watch. Carlos Lopez. Boom! It clearly says it, it's a clear hit, and he's still it is a clear and he's hit. still throwing balls it around. Is a clear like, hit. I'm gonna have to take this up later to the judges. Mr. Field is gonna get a piece of my mind. Maybe later. like automatic disqualification. I'm stealing that trophy. Over. I propose we run it back. Hashtag run it back. We want justice for Snoop Dogg Dogs, the ones who should have won. Anyways, let's send it to one of the cheaters for your weather report. Stay salty, Nelson. A win is a win. Don't be mad that your team got put out in the first round. Anyways, coming into school today, it was a chilly 49 degrees. Per usual, around lunchtime, we'll see a nice and mild 65 degrees. The high of the day will reach a sunny 70 degrees at 4 and will remain like that until 7 p.m. And temperatures will drop back off into the 60s around 9 p.m. once the sun is set. And for tomorrow, we will also see sunny skies throughout the entire day. Prayers to that. And in the morning, it will be about the same as today with a cool start with 50 degrees and reaching 65 degrees around noon tomorrow as well. The difference tomorrow, though, is that the high of the day is a good and warm 75 degrees. And falling into the night, we'll see the temperatures drop back into the low 60s. That's all for your weather report, dogs, and I'll send it back to your amazing hosts. Thanks, Garrick. For lunch today, lines one and two will be chicken strips slash roll, Lines three will be pork nacho, and line three will be grilled cheese and tomato soup. A special happy birthday goes out to Jennifer Cruz, Ariana Munoz, and Jonathan Rod Rodriguez Gomez. That's all for today's morning announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day, dogs.